Okay, team, let's rewind. Here's what's been happening on Ghost Rider. The facts. First, Jamal's been having a great time on vacation in London. He's made friends with Becky and Sam Wentwood, whose parents own the hotel where Jamal and his parents are staying. But something strange happened when Jamal and Becky were sightseeing. A weird bicycle messenger ran into them and dropped an envelope full of mysterious things. A secret coded message, a London phone number, and a message that says Sophie Madison's true identity revealed. Jamal, Becky, and Sam know that Sophie Madison is the name of a character in children's books. And the phone number belongs to a kid named Colin Brockington and his mother. And they decoded the message and found out it's about a kidnapping in New York. The message is from someone named Wise Rita. They've also learned that Gloria Brockington is the real name of the author of the Sophie Madison books, and she will be on a book tour in New York with her son Colin. Jamal and Becky think Colin is going to be kidnapped in New York. The kidnapper has been leaving coded messages in newspapers in London and New York. So Jamal asked the team to help. Then, the team decoded a message that said, Redbeard snatched kid at 2 p.m. Tuesday just like in book. They think someone named Redbeard is going to kidnap Colin. Redbeard may be a character in a Madison book, so they're reading the books for more clues. Meanwhile, Ghost Rider wrote to Becky and Sam. They can see him too. From the clues Ghost Rider sent, they find out Wise Rita is working with someone named Danny Winkler, the bike messenger. But what they don't know is Wise Rita wants to get even with Gloria Brockington. Wise Rita thinks Gloria stole her life story and put it in the Sophie Madison books. Jamal, Sam, and Becky stake out Danny Winkler's apartment, and they see him talking to a woman, Wise Rita. So Becky follows Wise Rita, and Jamal and Sam follow Danny. But Jamal and Sam get split up, and Jamal is caught by Danny. What will happen to Jamal? Will the kidnapping be stopped in time? And who is Redbeard? Get out a pencil and a casebook and start piecing the puzzle, because the Ghost Rider team is on the case. I was wondering when you'd get back. I found out Wise Rita's address and wrote it down in the casebook. Where's Jamal? I think he's still following Danny. Alone? What happened? Well, I got stuck behind this stupid woman trying to buy a ticket. And then when I finally got onto the platform, the doors of the train were closing. And I couldn't get on. I'm sure he's all right. I mean, he's got me to Z. Jamal will get back. He'll be here soon with more evidence on Danny. You'll see. Sam, look, something's happening. It's Ghost Writer. Of course, he's sending us something. Message in City Sun. Perhaps it's from the kids in New York. Here it is. Redbeard, Snatch Kid, 2 p.m. Tuesday, just like in book. Got it. This Tuesday, that's today and it's already past 4 p.m. Not in New York. It's only half past 11. There's not much time to stop a kidnapping. Just like in the book. That could be a Sophie Madison book. There's more. Who is Redbeard? working with Wise, Rita and Danny. We've got to talk to Jamal's friends in New York. Maybe if we all work together, we can figure out what this message means. And what the connection was between the Sophie Madison books and the kidnapping. Let's write to them through Ghostwriter, just like Jamal did. Wait! Jamal mentioned that he sometimes wrote on a computer. I'll go and see if we can borrow Mum and Dad's. That'll make it faster. So, how do we start? I don't know. I guess we just asked Ghostwriter. Here goes. That's crisp! I don't think Jamal 
first told the kids in New York that we can see Ghostwriter. So let's introduce ourselves first. Look, it's already a quarter to twelve and the kidnapping happens at two. Come on, Jamal. Becky and Sam? What? They can see Ghost Rider? Wow. I don't believe it. I wonder where Jamal is. Maybe he's letting them write to us. There's more. They haven't heard of Redbeard either. So do we. There's still five whole books to read in two hours. We don't have to read all of them. Gabby and I have already read Sophie Madison and Sophie Forms a Club. But there was nothing in either of them about Redbeard or kidnapping. Right, so there's only three books left. Sophie's Church Street Adventures, Sophie and Eddie, and Sophie and the Cemetery Green. So why don't we split up what's left? Becky and Sam can read Sophie and Eddie, and we can look at the other two. And we don't have to read every word. We can skim down the pages and look for important words like kidnapping and red beard. Let's tell Becky, Sam, and Jamal what we're gonna do. Here comes something. Read Sophie and Eddie. Look for kidnapping and red beard. Yeah, split out the work. That'll save time. Let's get to it. Jamal. Yeah, you're right. Becky, he's ghost writer. Jamal is in trouble. Oh no, how does he know? Well, if he can sense our feelings, maybe he feels that Jamal is in trouble. But why doesn't Jamal write to us? I don't know. Read 
name is Help. I'm getting Mum and Dad. Thank you, sir. Sophie Madison is me. Aunt Rita, bad news. In a minute, Danny. I've almost finished our ransom note. Want to hear it? For Aunt Rita. Dearest Gloria, we have your lovely little son, Colin. It's the punishment you deserve for stealing my life. Sophie Madison is me. She's made you rich, and I haven't seen a penny. But I may just forgive you if you give me £100,000. What do you think? Gloria Brockington Owens couldn't have written it better. Aunt Rita, this is no time for literary appreciation. We have a problem. That tourist kid was following me. Sure he was, Danny. I've stashed him in a cosy little rat hole on the Isle of Dogs. Thank you, sir. And you just left him there? I tied him up, good and proper. But what if he gets untied? He won't. What if he does? We've got too much at stake. So what do you suggest that I do? Go back and make sure. What? You heard me, love. Be a dear and go back and make sure he's tied up tight. If you know my meaning. such a thing, getting yourselves involved with kidnappers. We were just trying to solve a mystery. <sighs> Tell that to Jamal's parents when they come back this evening. All right, you say he went to the Isle of Dogs? Yeah, we think so. Well, it's not much help, is it? Where on the Isle of Dogs exactly? We don't know. Oh. I'm calling the police. Secret codes, newspaper ads, characters called Wise Rita and Danny Winkler. How did you get involved in such a mess? Man, I can't find anything about a kidnapping. No red beer either. Keep looking, Lane. Don't give up. What? I found him. I found red beer. Where? Here in Sophie in the Cemetery Games. Right. What does it say? Sophie entered the library and looked around. No sign of danger yet. A few kids and adults were listening quietly to an author reading from her book. Sophie peered up and down the aisles of bookshelves. Where was Redbeard? The coded message had said he'd be here at precisely 2 p.m. That's it. <coughs> That's exactly what Wise Reader's message said. Wise Reader must have copied the plan right from the book. Keep reading. Does it say anything about a kidnapping? Then Sophie heard a faint, rustling noise. Not daring to breathe, she turned around. There he was! A cold-hearted, red-bearded man lurked behind a bookshelf. His blood-red eyes were on a little kid off in a corner. A kid he was about to kidnap. Redbeard inched closer and closer to the kid as a woman continued reading. Only Sophie knew what was about to happen. She had to stop him somehow. Taking a huge breath, Sophie screamed at the top of her lungs. Ah! What happened? It was in the book. Oh, wow. So if Wise Reader's kidnapped and follows the one in the book, then some little kid, probably Colin, is going to get snatched out of the library at 2 p.m. today. While an author's reading from her books. That's got to mean Gloria Brockington. 
Yeah, she is on a book tour in the United States, which means she goes from place to place, reading from her books. So the only question is, which library? Well, we know it's in New York City, because that's where the message of the kidnapping would be. It might even be in Brooklyn. The last message was in the City Sun, and that's a Brooklyn newspaper. Why don't we call the Brooklyn Public Library? Maybe Gloria Brockington's giving a reading there at 2 p.m. today. Talk fast, we don't have much time. There must be something we can do besides hang around here. Police officers are searching the Isle of Dogs right now, Mr. Jenkins. But without more precise Well, I'm going myself. Reggie, no. You don't know London. Couldn't you try finding that, that Danny character or Wise? <laughs> We're doing all we can, ma'am. But neither Miss Wise nor Mr. Winkler is at home at the moment. I'm sure the police will figure this out. Jamal will be all right. Sam, look, it's a ghostwriter. Limehouse Way. Dad, is there a um, Limehouse Way on the Isle of Dogs? I don't know. Yes, there is. Why do you ask? is reading at the Brooklyn Library on Watson Street. All right. I gotta warn them. Oh, the lion's busy. Let's go over there fast. Wait, call Lieutenant McQuaid first. Hurry, hurry. Sophie was a sassy, no-nonsense 12-year-old who lived in a working-class family in Liverpool, England. Sophie had deep brown eyes a small gap between her front teeth and a moon-shaped birthmark on the left side of her neck. It's a mark of beauty, she was sometimes fond of saying. heart out about Wise Rita's kidnap plan. <laughs> Seemed like a pair of nuts to me. That was him at the door, wasn't it? You're one lucky fellow. I don't know how your friends knew where to tell us to look. There you go. Oh, all right. Okay, thanks. Hey, come on, take it easy. Thanks, Dan. Oh, easy, easy. Michael burst into the kitchen where Sophie was having tea and biscuits. 
They're after us, he cried with dismay. What do we do? Stop whining like a wet cat and have a biscuit, so he said calmly. There he is! Hold it! What do you mean it wasn't you? We just saw you. It was all Aunt Rita's doing. Why is Rita all right? All she wanted was revenge for stealing her life. Go on, read about Sophie Madison if you want to. But you know it's me aunt you's talking about. All right, take him away. Loony! That's what they are. Me brother Danny and me aunt. Sending me coded messages through the newspapers. Wait till they get my message. It won't be in code, believe me. Well, you guys did it again. They're the ones who alerted us to the kidnapping. Kidnapping? But who? Why? Do you know anyone by the name of Wise Rita, Miss Brockington? Wise Rita? Wise Rita, no. <gasps> Wait a minute. I did know a girl called Rita Wise when I was growing up in Liverpool. Is there any connection between her and Sophie Madison? Rita was a wonderfully mischievous girl, always getting into scrapes. I suppose I did put quite a bit of reading into Sophie. Her gap tooth smile and other things. But Sophie's also based on other girls I knew and others I imagined. And me. Two tickets to the Royal Shakespeare Company? Oh, Reggie, how sweet. Especially since we both know you'll be watching it with your eyes closed. I got them this morning before Jamal disappeared. I guess we really shouldn't go now. Why not? I'm back now. Safe and sound. Uh, Jamal, sit down. You know, adventure and courage are good things. But following a complete stranger, especially someone you thought was involved in a kidnapping, that's just plain foolish. You could have been seriously hurt or worse. I know, Mom. I... I thought about that a few times when I was tied up in that room. The time to think is not after the fact, it's before. And remember, you're not a cop. Yes, Dad. So, why don't you go to that play you were talking about? There's still time. I think we're going to stay with you tonight. Go, please. This is our last night here. I, I promise I won't be chasing after any kidnappers while you're gone. I'm not going anywhere, I promise. that he blinked off and I didn't have the heart to bug him about it he seemed too upset another mystery to solve yeah but you we won't be able to solve it together my parents and I are leaving first thing in the morning I wish you didn't have to go me too me three but we can always write to each other you mean we could be pen pals sure why not we could even write in code sometime 
With Zebra's the password. And we still have Ghost Rider to keep us close. In fact, these are for you. Now, you are both official members of the Ghost Rider team. Chris, cool. We have something for you, too. What's this? See? We put Ghost Rider in the picture, too. This, this is really great, you guys. We hope you won't forget us. Not a chance. And you'll have to come visit me in New York City. I've never been to the States before. And we get to meet the rest of the team. Now, since you're a part of the team, there's still one more thing you have to learn. On the count of three, do what I do. One, two, three. Go. Exercise your head. Read. Ghost Rider is brought to you in part by Nike. Additional bucks that keep our team supreme come from public television viewers like you and me. The Corporation for Public Broadcasting. The John Dean Catherine T. MacArthur Foundation. The Pew Charitable Trust. And the Youth Department of Education. But you can't say it all on breath. I bet you can. Ghost Rider was originally produced for the Public Broadcasting Service. Read more about Ghost Rider and the Ghost Rider team in these Bantam books. To purchase Bantam books, video cassettes, or a teacher's guide for programs in this series, contact GPN, P.O. Box 80669, Lincoln, Nebraska, 68501, or call 1-800-228. Four six three oh.